Guys, we're excited to tell you about a brand new head stud that just barely hit the market from Innovative Fastener Group, IFG. These are a tool steel head stud, 12 millimeter, designed to fit in your Cummins. And these things are killer. All right, guys, we're excited to put these brand new head studs in Jameson. Jameson's one of our mechanics here at Power Driven Diesel. We're gonna put these Innovative Faster Group tool steel head studs in his 04 Cummins. This is a running street truck. It's actually his daily driver. So we're actually gonna install these studs one at a time so that we don't have to compromise the integrity of the head gasket. We're getting ready so that we can really crank up the power on his truck because let's be honest you can't work here with a stock truck and uh, Jameson learned that firsthand when he showed up with a, a, a stock tranny and a smarty or something on there we're like that ain't gonna fly dude we gotta crank up the power so we're gonna get the head gasket ready to hold some power so today I got Jameson work, helping me he can work on his own dang truck so I'm not gonna do the install but I'm gonna tell you about it and uh, let's follow along here as Jameson puts these in okay first off we've got to remove the valve cover simple few eight 10 millimeter fasteners got the valve cover off next we're undoing the injector harnesses we have to take the rocker pedestals off We're gonna go in the reverse pattern of the Cummins torque sequence, which starts in the center of the head. We're actually gonna start on cylinder number one because it's easy to reach. We're gonna take these two studs off the outside, and then we're gonna move back to back on number six, and we're gonna do these one at a time. We pulled the head stud out. It came out pretty clean, um, so we're not gonna chase the threads. Uh, we're gonna move right on to vacuuming out all the excess fluids out of the hole, getting it clean. You'll notice these have a star drive on the top, not an Allen. Stars are a little better about not stripping. That's a nice little upgrade they put on these studs. Anyways, we're putting them in. We're going down till it bottoms out. Some guys like to back them off a quarter turn. We just like to go down snug, hand tight, um, so that they don't move around as you're getting up in your final torque sequence. We found if you back the studs off a quarter turn like you would for like an ARP or something. It seems like they just do a big jolt right at the end when you're torquing them in anyway. So we like to just run them down to the bottom. You don't want a lot of pressure because that puts extra strain on the threads when it bottoms out. We just want to go down snug and that's just perfect. So we're going to put a little bit of the supplied lubrication on them. It adds a little bit of corrosion resistance and uh, you know it just helps them go down in the block nice and clean. Um, you want to be pretty liberal with this, put quite a bit on the threads, both sides of the washer, on the nut, really work it in there. We're going to initial torque of 120 foot-pounds. Um, we're not going to the full torque spec because we're trying to get close to what the factory torque was. We don't want to crank this head down really tight on one spot. We kind of want to go in a nice torque sequence. So as we're doing them one at a time, we're just getting up close to where the factory fastener. Probably a little higher at 120, but it'll be okay. So now that we've got number one finished, we're going to go back to number six. We're going to work on a circular pattern, working our way into the center of the head. When you do a new head gasket install, you start at the center and work your way out. When you're doing them one at a time, you want to follow the sequence in reverse and start from the outside and work your way in. Then once they're all installed, then we're going to do our final torque starting on the inside working out. It's not super duper critical that you do it this way. I've seen guys do it backwards, they didn't have any issues. But generally, if you follow the way the factory wants you to torque it, you have a lot less chance of warping or having head gasket issues down the road. Now that all the studs are in, we're gonna do our final torque sequence. So we're gonna take the wrench right up to 130 foot-pounds. We're gonna start in the middle, and we're gonna work our way out one by one in a spiral pattern going out, starting between cylinder number three and four. We're gonna work our way out. Now that we have them all at 130, we're gonna hit them all at 150, uh, sorry, we're gonna hit them all at 140, and then we're gonna finish up at 150 foot-pounds. Now we're gonna put the engine back together the same way it came apart. Be sure to retorque the rocker pedestals when you're putting them in. We like to put them, you know, 27. Some guys will creep them up around 30 foot-pounds, get a little extra stretch on that factory fastener, but 27 is sufficient for most trucks. 
One thing that's important every time you do head studs is there is a little shelf on the back of the aluminum rocker box that holds all of your injector harnesses and it will hit on a stud. You gotta remember a stud has a nut, a washer, and a little two threads of stud hanging up above it and so it will hit that shelf. So you see here, we're gonna take a die grinder and make just a little bit of clearance for that back stud on number six. We gotta make sure we set the valve lash. These studs clamp a lot harder than head bolts and it will suck the head down tighter so your valve lash will tighten up. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. We had a lot of fun installing these studs. Oh, oh. We're not oh. done yet. <laughs> so, how did the install go really? Tell us. It was really easy, nice and straightforward. So you've installed other brands of studs, very similar? Yep. No, no surprises? Nope. What's something you liked about it? I, the, <laughs> it's kind of small, but they're, uh, the package of the lubricant that they give with uh, the head studs is really easy to use. It's There's more than you get in other studs? Yeah, I have like, some left over. You have left over? So, yep. so that's good. So that went a little well. What about the fit and finish? Did you like the Torx versus the Allens? How did that go? Yeah, no, that's nice. That grips really well on the fastener. So it's Torx easy, is good there. Especially when you're reaching back in on number six. So I think uh, very good quality. They torqued really nice. They felt good. Yeah, how'd they feel in the torque wrench when you're getting in there? Very 150? Solid. Yeah, it Felt similar to 625 probably yeah. when you're torquing them? Yep. Good, they should be, they're tool steel. <laughs> yep. So, well guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe, follow our channel, and uh, if you're new here, uh, you know, tune in next time because we like doing videos like this. We're always gonna have more parts out there, more stuff we're reviewing, and watch as his truck gets tuned up because you can't work here with a stock truck. What's the goal for the truck, really? Uh, I'd like to see four digits someday. Four digits, yep. all right. On the factory powdered metal rods, let's That's do it. Right. <laughs> Thanks guys.